Hey you guys, so I am back with a brand new video. In today's video, I figured I'll show you guys my thoughts on the Sephora favorites, give me some nude lip kit. And if you guys are an OG subscriber of mine, I used to always fill my reviews on the Sephora favorite kits because they always have like different kind of kits that is sold in the store. So I saw this one and I kind of figured, hmm, it's a nude lip kit, but is it woman of color friendly? And you do get a variety of different lip products in here. So I kind of figured, let's just try it out and just see how it wears and how it looks. So if you guys want to see my thoughts and opinions, and of course, just keep watching. So again, this is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip Kit. And I love these kind of lip kits because again, you can try different products for a really good price. The lip kit does retail for $28. And you also get two full size lip products in here as well. So the different brands in here is going to be my makeup forever. You also have a Huda Beauty lip product that's actually the full size. And then you have a Stila lip product that's a full size as well. You have a Tarte lip product and a Buxom lip product. So I did go ahead and swatch a few of the colors for you guys so you can see how the product look. And I must say, some of them I actually like and some of them I had to kind of finagle to make work for me. So starting off, I'll just do some swatches on my hand. The first product is going to be my makeup forever. It is the Artist Liquid Matte in the number 105. And this one is going to be a smaller size, but again, it's enough lip product in here to last you, you know, a really good while. So here is the swatch of this one on my hand. This to me is more like a pinky, purpley, gray kind of color. Here is the swatch. And when applying it on my lips, it did apply very nicely. It wasn't streaky or patchy, and I thought the color was really pretty. It is different in terms of what I like. So I must say, it's not my most favorite color. However, it's not a bad color either. It's just outside of my comfort zone, and to me, it's not really a nude per se, in my opinion. To me, a nude is more of like a brownish kind of color, but because it lends itself to like the purplish grayish side it kind of threw me off a little bit but again keep in mind we do have the pigment in our lips so sometimes it can always change the way a color looks on our actual lips so again it's not a bad color i'm just not used to those kind of colors against my skin tone but the formula itself is really nice it does dry down to a nice matte finish and when I did smudge my finger on it, it did not move at all because I already swatched these already on my hand and it did not move. It was pretty much like there. So again, it's my makeup forever. It's the Artist Liquid Matte in the number 105. And again, it's a really pretty like pinky, purpley, grayish kind of color. And I definitely think you should try it out if you like those kind of colors. But in my opinion, it doesn't lend itself to a true nude. But again, choice is yours. Next product is going to be by Buxom. It is their plumping lip gloss. It's their plumping lip gloss in the color called Dolly. And you do get a mini size of this one as well. I must say, it's definitely a plumping lip gloss because when it went on my lips, it was really like tingly feeling and it almost had like a minty feel to it, which I typically don't do plumping lip glosses because I don't feel like I need it. So if you're into those kind of lip products, you're going to like it a lot. When I apply it to my lips, it looks more like my lips, but better. You do get a hint of a color payoff. To me, I actually couldn't see it on my lips when applying it because it's so sheer. But it definitely had my lips looking really glossy and pretty. So I can either wear this color by itself or as a lip topper over another color. I do have it on my lips right now paired with two other lip products. So I think it's a nice lip topper, but again, if you don't like plumping glosses, you may not like it. Hair is the color swatched on my hand, so it's a slight hint of like a pink color. Again, it is a gloss, so if you like glosses, check it out. But if you don't like plumping lip glosses, you may not like it. So again, it's a really pretty color, and I can definitely see myself wearing this topped over something else or just worn by itself if I want to have a nice, glossy, wet look to my lips. Next one is going to be by Tarte. This is the color splash lipstick in the color called Beach Babe. You do get a mini size of this product. I love the packaging. I think it's so cute. And then here is the color swatched on my hand. Now this lip color is definitely more of like a pinky nude. It's more pink than nude on my lips. 
The pigmentation of my lips is more on the pink side, so it makes any pinky nude color look really pink versus nude. So I can wear this if I was to pair it with a brown lip liner and just kind of work with it. I can definitely wear it that way. I personally wouldn't wear it by itself because it's not the most flattering lip color against my skin tone. So I kind of feel like I would have to make this work for me to wear it. For me to wear it if I wanted to wear it on a day-to-day -day basis. I would just pair it with a brown lip liner and just make it work that way. So again, that one is by Tarte. This one is very creamy in consistency and it actually felt moisturizing. So I did like that a lot. Um, however, I wouldn't wear it by itself. Next product is going to be by Stila. It's the all day liquid lipstick in the color called Caramello. I have tried her liquid lipsticks before and I must say I love the formula because I do have dry lips as well. So I don't like a liquid lipstick that's too drying because I always get that like flaky looking crustiness to my lips and it's not pretty or flattering at all. So hers is really comfortable to wear and it does not budge at all. Once it settles, it settles. Only thing with some of her colors, I always have to pair it with something else because I don't like it by itself sometimes. Um, and this is one of those colors where I have to pair it with another lip product because on its own, it is not flattering on me at all. Here is the swatch on my hand. So as you can see, it's another pinky nude lipstick, but again, it falls more on the pink side. I do have it on my lips right now, and I have it paired with NYX Espresso, and I do have the Buxom Gloss on top of it to kind of give it a pop of glossiness to the look. But I must say, I love the color combination of all three. So again, I would have to make this work with something else because on its own, as you guys saw in the video, I was kind of like, whoa, like this is not going to work for me because it's not flattering at all. So again, Pair with something else, it's really pretty by itself. I do not like it at all. And the last one is going to be by Huda Beauty. It is her liquid matte lipstick in the color called Trendsetter. And you do get a full size of this product as well. I love the color of this. It's like a terracotta color, which is so pretty. But her formula is definitely a very interesting formula, I have to say. Here's the color swatched in my hand. When applying it to my lips, it was applying very wet, which made it very slippery in terms of the way it was applying. So it was applying kind of like streaky and it was getting all over my teeth. So you have to be careful when applying this product because it slips and slides and it can get really messy very fast, which I had that problem when applying the product because it got all over my teeth. However, once it dries down, it definitely dries down really matte, which I like a lot. And I just think the color is very pretty. It's honestly my favorite color out of all the products because it's more flattering. And I don't have to pair it with another lip color if I don't want to. I can definitely wear it by itself. Especially in the fall, I think it's going to be a really pretty color for a fall lip. But again, the formula of it, you have to just be careful so you don't get carried away. But it's definitely a pretty lip color. And again, it does not budge at all once it's on your lip. And it's actually very comfortable to where it's not too drying, which I like a lot. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the Sephora favorites give me some nude lip kit. I definitely feel like if you want to try it out, give it a try because it may work for you. And I definitely kind of feel like I can make the colors work. So I don't feel like it was a total waste of money or a total loss. Plus I got two full size products for pretty much free because these alone is close to the price of this. So I was able to get two full size products and three mini products and I was able to try some new brands and formulas that I haven't tried before. So again, if you can make the product work, definitely give it a try. But if you kind of feel like you don't want to make the lip product work, then of course don't get it. I love to mix and you know make my own lip concoctions. I think it's fun versus wearing just a color by itself, but that's just me. So I like it a lot. Again, some colors I liked, some colors I did not like. But overall, I think it's a really good deal. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.